Do you want to say hi? Hi. Nobody can see you. Come over here. Hi. Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to do my March favorites for 2018. I have quite a few different favorites. I have some beauty favorites and some other favorites like not beauty related. And I also wanted to talk about a few YouTube channels that I have been obsessed with watching lately and go from there. So I hope you guys are looking forward to this. I've been loving watching these and let's get right on into it. So my first favorite for March is actually a favorite that I've had many times and it is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 20M. Here it is here. It is the most beautiful bronzer ever, but I'm actually using it as my contour because I did run out of that smaller contour that I was using from Elizabeth Mott. Here it is here, and I will give you a swatch of it. It's like the most perfect color for my skin tone. It is on the cooler side which I like for my bronze or for my contour it's right here um, and it doesn't pull too warm toned on me I can actually use it for a bronzer as well but in my opinion it's a little bit too cool toned for a bronzer so I use this as my contour and I freaking love it it is my favorite contour ever even more so than that Elizabeth Mott one. I really, really enjoyed that one. That was a very close second. But this is my ultimate favorite. I will be repurchasing this once it is finished. And they have, I only think they have like four shades, which is a little disappointing to be honest. But I'd like to get the deeper shade. I think it's like cinnamon. It's like 20 or... 30 25 m or something like that i don't know but i think i want to try out a darker one for the summertime because i'm thinking that this contour is going to be a little bit light for me for the summertime so i'm looking into that maybe during the sephora vib sale coming up soon in on march 20th but yeah we'll see the next item i have is from thrive cosmetics and i put this in my drawer the beginning of the year and I've been loving using this as my inner corner highlight it looks so beautiful I use it underneath my brow bone as well and um, I've just been loving using this to be completely honest I don't typically like shadow sticks I'm trying to close it it's like not there we go I typically don't like the shadow sticks very often but this one is in the shade Stella and it's like the perfect brightening color for me and this brand is cruelty free and vegan which I love and appreciate the next item I have is this elevation palette by pure cosmetics you can only buy this on the pure website I freaking love this highlighter palette I got it like two years ago and it came with like a teeny tiny little fan brush which I have since thrown away because I didn't like it but I just love these colors I'm not wearing it today but I seriously I can't get enough of using this palette it's such a a beautiful highlighter palette it's got three different shades sometimes I mix them all together sometimes I just use the middle shade or the top shade here because um, this one is a bit on the pinky side which you could use as a blush topper if you like that kind of look but I've just been using it like crazy if you want to see a full review on this palette highlighter like best highlighter for glowy and for um, natural tones so if you were looking for a really good highlighter palette with three different shades this one is super affordable it's only 15 bucks on their website and like I said it comes with a brush so perfect if you're just starting out and perfect if you just love highlighters in general like me but I love that one then an item that I just started using this month or last month I end of February is when I started using it is the Laura Mercier loose translucent setting powder and I freaking love this. I only have this little tiny sample size of it here, but I have been really enjoying using it. It's just the original version, but I got this in one of my Sephora favorites kits over the winter and I had yet to use it. And I was like, you know what? I've been using um, foundation a lot lately, like liquid foundation or BB creams a lot lately. So I wanted to try this out and this literally makes my skin look flawless. Like it's amazing it really does blur out any imperfection I love this stuff now I know why people were raving about it I honestly don't use loose powders very often so I won't be repurchasing this anytime soon this will last me a very long time but I've been really really enjoying using this the next item I have to talk about is from Pure Lease and it is the BB Cream Tinted Moist Cream SPF 30 Natural Looking Coverage Flawless Finish 
for all skin types, even sensitive, and I have the shade medium. Here it is here. It is like a little sample size, but I have used this about five times and it still feels like it's completely full. I do have it on today as my main foundation. As you guys know, I do love using BB creams and just like powder foundation as my foundation because I like a more natural finish, but this definitely has a more matte to satin finish. Typically, I like a more satin to glowy finish like my... Where is it? Oh my god. Oh my god. So typically I like a more satin to glowy finish like my Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation gives me. But this one has been super nice because I've been using it with my... Um, Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I would put my primers on first, whatever ones I'm using for that day, and then I would lay this down with a sponge. I always use a sponge. I don't like using a brush anymore. I used to, but I'm just out of the brush phase. And I put this down, and then I set it down with the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray, and it just gives me that extra boost of you know, lightness and freshness to my skin that doesn't look so matte. And I've been loving using this. I can't wait to use this one up. I will be picking up a full size version of this once I'm done using it, but I've been loving this brand, you guys. Every single thing that I've tried from this Pure Lease brand, I have loved. Then a hair care product that I have been obsessed with this month because I am a lazy slacker and I don't like to wash my hair every single day because it's really damaging on my hair is this Oscar Blandy Prawn dry shampoo spray. I didn't think I liked this at first, but then I started using it a different way. So I would typically section my hair off, not where my main crease is or main part is, and I'll section it off and spray just a tiny little spray in each little section, and then I'll just let it sit there for a minute. And then... I would flip my hair upside down and like scrub it in as if I was using like shampoo. Like I would just scrub it and like try to lather it in. And then I would brush my hair out and it was like my hair was fresh and new. Like it was washed. And then I would go in with like a different kind of like spray to like make it smell good. It doesn't leave a white cast at all, which I so appreciate because it seems like a lot of them do. I do think I got this in a boxy charm. I'm pretty sure I did last year and I've just been really, really enjoying it. It's just a regular like aerosol can. And yeah, I mean, I don't know. I do know that this brand typically is a little bit more expensive, but I would be willing to pay the higher price for something I could actually use, if that makes sense. Then something that I had originally decluttered, and then I watched Jackie from Jax Lorraine. I will link her video down below where she talks about it if I can find it. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to, but I can't remember. But it is the Wet n Wild Mattifying Powder in Matte About You, and it just looks like this. And it's a very, like, dry texture powder. I definitely have a huge dip in mine already. But it just kind of, like, blurs out the pores. It doesn't add any kind of coverage or anything like that. But I have been using this with a fluffy brush. I've been using this one in particular. It's from Luxie, and it's the 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. And I have been using this one under my eyes eyes to sweep this powder underneath my eyes and honestly I just kind of go around my whole eye sock in on top of my eyes on top of my eyes and everything and it really sets down any kind of foundation that I have around that area and it brightens it up so nicely it doesn't crease on my under eyes you guys know I don't wear concealer I'm actually gonna be getting rid of all of my concealers I've already decided but I love this powder it's super affordable like I said, I had originally decluttered it and I'm so happy that I ended up keeping it because I love it. I use it every single day. Unless I want more of a yellowish tone, then I'll use a banana powder. But typically I've been wearing this one every single day and I've been loving it. The next makeup item that I have is actually a MAC product and it is the Velvet Teddy Lipstick. You guys know that this was in my brands to try or products to try in 2018 at the beginning of the year and this Velvet Teddy was one of them. I have been using this lipstick like crazy. I did end up purchasing the set from Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty Sale with the primer and the lip liner to try them all together, but honestly, I don't see that I'll have any issue using up this entire lipstick bullet this year. 
I literally have been wearing it like crazy. I don't wear it at work because it doesn't seem to be super long wearing on me, but I love this lipstick so much. I don't want to love it because MAC is not a cruelty free brand, but I do. I love it so much and it just looks so sleek and beautiful and oh, I will give you guys a quick swatch of it. I know I haven't been doing good with my swatches today, but on me it's like a nude pink tone it's right here in the center and I just I think it looks fantastic with my skin tone with my colors that I use on my eyes I typically wear a neutral eye look and this looks perfect with it so if you guys are looking into MAC for the first time like I was I haven't really tried much from MAC at all I would definitely recommend Velvet Teddy. It seems to be like a universal nude shade and I'm really enjoying it. So three more quick beauty products. I did put this in my everyday makeup drawer this month and it is the Instain Blush in Tool and I am wearing it today as my main blush. I do have to put it on very, very lightly. It is a very red toned hot pink type of blush, but I'm really loving it. Like it just, I don't know, it just works for me. Here it is here, swatched like crazy well. <laughs> Typically, I obviously won't wear my blush that crazy, but I really love this color and the formula is so blendable. Even when I get too much on, I just turn my brush around and kind of fade it out and it just blends out so nicely. It's such a beautiful color, perfect for the spring and the summertime. I would definitely recommend this to you guys if you are looking for a good blush. I got this on Hot Look, so I got it at half off, which makes it even better for me. Every single blush that I've purchased from The Balm has been one of my favorites and it's favorites for different seasons typically. And I'm just loving this one right now. So I definitely recommend this if you are looking for a really good spring summer blush. But yeah, this one's in Tool and I love it. Then because I've been going to the gym a lot, I have been wearing this Tarte Lifted Sweatproof Mascara. And this is just a little sample size that I had gotten. And it is a brown toned mascara. It's not a black. It has a definite brown tint to it, but I've been loving this because it simply does not go anywhere when I'm sweating. So when I'm at the gym, I typically go like this and I take my shirt and I just like wipe my forehead with it. And if I'm wearing any other mascara, it will literally come off on my shirt or my towel or whatever I'm wiping my face with. And this one doesn't freaking move. It's amazing. I need to get more of these because this is the one I've been wearing every time I've been working out or going to the gym or if I'm going to work and I know I'm going to the gym right after work without coming home. I'll wear this one as opposed to any of my other mascaras and it just stays in place so well. It looks great on the lashes. I just really, really enjoy this. So I will definitely be repurchasing once this is gone because I'm gonna need something for the summertime and for vacationing and stuff like that. We are going on a cruise in November and I'm gonna definitely want something like this because it's still gonna be warm in Florida and in the Caribbean where we're going. So. I'm really excited about this and I think if you work out to any extent with any kind of makeup on you should definitely try it. Then a favorite that you guys have seen in my sample project pan videos is this Tatcha Pure One Step Kamiya. I think it's Kamiya um, cleansing oil and this is like nearly halfway gone and I freaking love this. It makes my skin so soft you guys like I'll take off my makeup and then with my Neutrogena cleansing towelette as per usual and then I'll put this all over my face minus my eyes I don't put it in my eyes and then I'll wash it with like a regular cleanser and my skin is so soft like I don't know this is on my Sephora VIB wishlist sale or Sephora VIB sale wishlist whatever and I just can't wait to keep using this. Honestly, this is like the only thing I want to use. I do want to try other cleansing oils that are more affordable. This was definitely more on the expensive side. It is Tatcha, but 
yeah i've been really loving this it makes my skin incredibly incredibly soft and it really does clear out my pores so i really really like this then one last kind of sort of beauty product you guys saw it in my empties and i have since repurchased it is the nature's truth calming relaxing aromatherapy essential oil and i ended up purchasing the bigger size not the roller ball and I've really, really been loving this. I put this on every single night before bed on the bottom of my feet. Feet? On the bottoms of my feet, <laughs> behind my ears, and on my brainstem. And it smells so nice. My husband said that I smelled like a mandarin orange, which there is orange in here. <laughs> the ingredients in here is orange oil sweet, tangerine oil, lang lang oil extra, patchouli oil, and chamomile blue. So that is kind of like the blend that's in here. And for some reason, this just really makes me not tired, but it really calms me down before bed because I do have a lot of anxiety issues, which a lot of you guys already know that, but this really is calming for me and I really, really enjoy it. So if you guys are looking for a nice, relaxing, orange scented or tangerine scented um, essential oil, this one's perfect. And apparently guys love it too because my husband just loved it. He was like sniffing me. It was cute, but it was a little weird. Anyways, I love that one. So that was all of my beauty related items. I do want to get into some of my non-beauty related items. The first thing I have is my Bose, I can't remember, it's like the sound link or something, and I freaking use this every day. So I always play this when I'm in the shower, I'll play this, um, I'll link the Bluetooth to my phone and I'll play Pandora while I'm in the shower. I play this in the basement when I'm cleaning or when I'm doing laundry or when I'm just cleaning the house. We use this all the time and I have the mint green color. But I got this one free when I purchased a phone at Verizon like a couple years ago. So I'm not sure if you can buy this specific one. If you can, I will link it down below. But I love this one. And the Bose sound system is so good. It's so loud. The bass is not too high. I have issues with my ears and my balance when the bass is too high. It really messes me up for some reason. And I love this one because the bass is not too high on it. It's like the perfect sound system for me. I don't need anything more than this. I think if you purchase this, it's like around the $100 mark, which is totally affordable in my opinion for something that I use all the time. Not to mention the charge stays on forever. Like literally I can listen to this three days in a row without charging it and it will still be perfectly fine. Such a fantastic Bose sound system. I definitely recommend this to you guys. So the next item is, I guess, more on the beauty side of things, but it is a fragrance. It is 1881 by Cerute. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that. 1881, and I love this perfume. It smells so incredibly nice and light and fresh. And the bottle, okay, seriously, this bottle is just beautiful. I just love this bottle. And then when you take it off, it's just, it's so elegant. I just, I love this one. I will put the notes of the fragrance here or here, wherever. It stays, okay, so first of all, this stays on all freaking day. I will spray just like one spray on my wrist, rub my wrists, wrists together, one spray on my neck. This will literally be on my skin all day. Day. I love the fact that it's actually a long lasting perfume. I did get this on a discount website because this is a very expensive perfume, but I got it on fragrance.net, I think it was, because they were having a really good sale. And I picked up a couple different fragrances, so if you guys are looking for a good one, this is definitely it. I It's just so sweet and so fresh. I just, I love this perfume. It smells amazing and I would recommend it to you guys if you like the scents that I know, that I listed on the um, screen here. So, and it's so beautiful and it's like the frosted glass. I just love this. I really love this box too, but I really need to throw it away because I keep keeping it and I shouldn't. So I'm gonna put this in the recycle bin. The last thing before I talk about YouTube channels that I have been watching is, <laughs> it's food, of course. So I have been making this little nut mix every day for my lunch. It has almonds, pecans, a Brazil nut, one single Brazil nut, because if you guys know, if you have one single Brazil nut, that is the total amount of selenium that you need in your day. And selenium is good for red cell, red, 
blood cell production and your white blood cells. So I always have a Brazil nut and I make my husband have one too. And there's also walnuts in here, which are super good for you. And then I have dried apricots in here. I just have three of them because they're, they are higher in sugar and higher in calories. But sometimes I do dried cherries as well. And I just do this little snack mix. I typically do about five pecans, five walnuts, one Brazil nut, and 10 almonds, and then just a few of the dried fruit. And it is such an energizing mix. I've been having this every single day with my lunch, and I have it before I go to the gym, and I have so much energy for the rest of the day. I don't feel weighed down, I don't feel heavy. Yes, it is a little bit higher in calories because nuts are typically higher in calories and higher in fat, but it is healthy calories and healthy fat that actually help you keep moving, not just having a piece of bread that's you know low in both of those and then you're dragged down for the rest of the day. So this is what I've been doing every single day to keep my energy up and to keep myself feeling lighter throughout the day because when I have a heavier lunch, I don't feel like doing anything when I get off of work and I've been having so much energy lately because I have been doing this nut mix. So I would definitely recommend that to you. I just get my nuts from Meyer. Um, I just buy like the big bulk packs of them. I have been looking for a bulk store around me so that I can just bring my mason jars and refill them so I'm not wasting so much plastic and packaging, which I do have a series coming up soon that I am going to be talking about stuff like that that I have been making changes in my life so stick around for that but yeah that is the last of my favorites now I'm going to talk to you about a YouTube channel that I have been obsessed with watching like I wait for her notifications to come in and the YouTube channel is called Dude Babe and the girl that's on there is Lauren she does the channel is actually geared towards like an ED recovery channel, but for me, since I don't have an eating disorder at all, I watch her because she's so motivational to me. So she has her ups and her downs and she films when she's down. She films when she's up. She films just anything that she thinks about and feels and she's so raw in her filming which is what I really like about it. It's not edited, it's not pre-thought out, it's not um, like I said like pre-planned, it's just all raw. Just her talking, her saying her feelings, her just talking about life and talking about real struggles that people have and anxiety issues and how she really truly feels and it's so nice to actually see somebody with such a raw personality here on YouTube because I feel like there's so many people and channels that are very very thought out and planned and like professionally done that I feel like YouTube's kind of lost its rawness and I feel like she brings it back. So if you guys check out her channel, let her know that I sent you because she is amazing and if you're not interested in the eating disorder side of it, I mean I just think it's interesting in general, but if you're not interested in that side of it, then don't watch those specific videos. But she makes so many of them, um, so many videos that talk about her different, like I said, her different struggles and her different just life's lessons and life's plans for her and she lives in Hawaii which is really cool because then you get to see tons of cool scenery and pictures and I just love her channel so let her know that I sent you guys if you go and check her out I will definitely leave her channel linked down below and then a final YouTube channel that I literally watch every single time he posts is Derek Simnet from Simnet Nutrition and he is a vegan like calisthenics activist type of person so he promotes a vegan lifestyle whole foods plant-based and he promotes you know being active in your environment and not just going to the gym but you know using what you have around you and available to you to exercise and using your body weight as your exercise so instead of having weights and um, barbells and dumbbells and whatever else he uses his own body weight to really get his fitness on basically he has been since adding weight and going to the gym more often 
but I just love the videos where he's just in nature and just working out on a tree or he sees a chair and he just does random things with the chair and you're like, what? How can you even think of that kind of exercise? But he figures it out and he makes it work wherever he is. He doesn't need a gym to work out and he doesn't need a set food plan to eat. He just eats whenever he's hungry. He eats whatever he wants, you know, the whole foods, plant-based stuff. And it's very, very motivational and very thought-provoking because you really you look at people like that and you're like man I could totally do that I could totally do that and now that I've been moving more towards my whole foods plant-based diet and going back towards a more vegan diet it's just so nice to see other people doing it and other people thriving off of that kind of lifestyle so I just wanted to mention those two channels like I said I will link them both down below if you guys go and check them out let them know that I sent you because I just I think they're great and they need to know that more people want to watch them as well and maybe just haven't found their channels yet because there's a million and a half channels here on YouTube. But yeah, that was all of my favorites for the month. I'm sorry if I was a little bit long-winded, but I really feel like I had a lot to talk about today. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I have been wearing this Tarte listed, listed? <laughs>